will entertain them over these next 20 overs as New Zealand try and chase down this very good total posted by Pakistan. Abdul Razak will open the bowling for Pakistan. Very experienced player. G performed well off the bat tonight, Ramiz. That was crucial, that innings he played at the end to get Pakistan up to a very good total. Jesse Ryder missed out in Hamilton. We know what a dangerous player he is, so he will be needed tonight. And he's about to face the first ball from Abdul Razak. Well, this total certainly not out, not out of New Zealand's grasp because they've got some uh, great strikers of the ball. Just couldn't understand the wisdom behind pairing Yunus Khan with Asa Chafiq because even though Pakistan have got 183 runs on the board, it could have been a lot better for Pakistan because that partnership produced nothing but frustration for Pakistan. It lasted for 24 balls, only contributed 13 runs when the opening stand was worth 81 in no time. Big appeal. I think that's pitched outside and missing leg stump. Chris Gaffney walks away, shakes his head. So the New Zealand total is underway through a leg by. He doesn't move his feet a great deal, Jesse Ryder, but he's a sweet timer of the ball. He's not been amongst runs in this uh, T20 series, but uh, he can fire any time because he's got great hand-eye coordination. Martin Gupta has been the inform black caps batsman this series. 98 of 57 balls this series. He's played beautifully. A oh, score of 54. This is the we do. Pitch well outside leg stumps, so straight away he cannot be out. Has to pitch in line with the stumps. He's going to be given our LBW, so a good decision there. Well, Rami, 66 runs came off the last five overs in the Pakistan innings. They really went to task. Abdul Razak and Umar Akmal were outstanding. Leading edge and out. Gattel's gone. Not the start the Black Caps needed. Leading edge from Gattel, and Shazad takes the catch at point. Well, what a wonderful strike from uh, Abdul Razak. He's been striking the ball magnificently with the bat, but now he's struck with the ball, and what a costly scalp. Gaftil, who's been in great silky touch, leaves for not from Pakistan, off to a magnificent start here. One for one ends it. Led by the skipper that run out. They are fizzing in the field. New Zealand are going to have a lot of hard work. That man's taken two catches already tonight. Two very good catches. Oh, he's hit in front. Oh, he's been given. Chris Gaffney says that Razak is on fire. He's got rid of the New Zealand skipper. LBW just nipped back. And Taylor has to make his way back. He may not be pissy, but he's a mighty clever, Abdul Razak. And he can see it either way. Ross Taylor doesn't look too pleased with this one. I think he played across the line. Possibly just a little high, who knows, but it uh, looked adjacent to the stumps, and that's why the finger was raised. And uh, well, another New Zealander bites the dust for not. What's happening here? Three for four. Three. Go. Michelle Bacta, who aren't playing tonight. What a performance. The rest of the players are putting on. Abdul Razak was outstanding with the bat, was brutal with the bat. And now he's doing a great job with the ball. Frank is bold. Decides to charge Razak. Doesn't get anything on it. And his stumps are all over the place. Another one gone for New Zealand. What a day he's having, Abdul Razak. He's all smiles. Too hot to handle. Keeping it nice and simple. Bowling wicket to wicket and disrupting the bales and the flow of the New Zealanders. James Franklin goes early for three in New Zealand in dire straits, 11 for five. 
They require 173 from 92 balls. It's going to be uh, tough going now with five wickets down, half the side down. They're looking down the barrel. Just missing the ball completely. It looked uh, a pretty innocuous delivery. Just came down the track, played down the wrong line. And, uh, he's not the first New Zealander to do it tonight. No, it did straight, wasn't it? You miss, I hit, and Abdul Razak did exactly that. And the Pakistani supporters are the only ones dancing and cheering in the stands here tonight at AMI Stadium. They will be wrapped with what they have seen.